It's against the law for cities, counties, and states to stop people from building places of worship. But the Department of Justice says more communities are breaking the law. Reporter Farah Fazal began working on this story after she had heard an assistant U.S. Attorney General talking about this. Farrah. And so that is where we began this morning, Bill. The head of the Council on American Islamic Relations tells me 80% of his cases violate a federal law called the Religious Land Use Act. He says the fight for people to pray is a battle he takes on almost every day. Doesn't matter what you're doing. When the alarm goes up, everybody just tends to come up here and uh, pray at the same time. The call to prayer pray every day. was a long time coming in the Abu Haraib Mosque in St. Anthony. Ahmed Sharif is the self-appointed handyman here. It's just a community hub. You need anything, you just come over here. Muslims wanted to turn this building into a business center and mosque. The city chose to go against it out of potentially what, what, what appeared to be fear, would it be to be pretty much organizing against Muslims? The city of St. Anthony denied the Muslims the permit to put a small mosque in a room here. It would be surrounded by office spaces. You shouldn't build here, go find another place. The city council member said the building was not zoned for a mosque. They denied the permit. There is a, a federal law that prohibits that. It's called uh, a religious land use, uh, RELUPA. The head of the Council on American Islamic Relations took the case to the Department of Justice. The government sued the city of St. Anthony for violating the Religious Land Use Act. When it comes to building a mosque, we almost are uh, guaranteed that there will be opposition. Jelani Hussein says that opposition often comes from organized anti-Islamic people outside of that community. Islam is evil. Hussein says that rhetoric forced Muslims in St. Cloud to withdraw their permit for a mosque. But Muslims in Dakota County won their right to build a cemetery. St. Anthony settled its case. Muslims got their mosque the old Medtronic building. The Muslim community won this lawsuit, but the reality is this building is still empty. You lost a lot of opportunity to raise money. Mosque leaders here know if they build it, people here will come to work and pray. Ajaylani Hussein told us the Muslims in St. Cloud who withdrew their application for a mosque will try again in front of a new city council. He says the city of St. Anthony and the Muslims at the mosque now have a good relationship. He says in all of the communities where he fights for the right to worship Bill, there are many, many people who come out and who support all those Muslims and rally around. I'm sh we've been following this for years, many of years. course, uh, Farah, and I'm sure we haven't heard the last of it. I'm sure this will be a Clearly contentious not. issue for uh, years to come. Clearly not. If they're doing 80% of these cases, we're going to hear more. All right. Very interesting. Thanks, Farah.